Hi Wargamers, Spirit Warrior 40k here, and today we're going for, finally, the Striking Scorpions Tactica and Review. So guys, after lots of promising that I'll get this done, um, finally going to get, get some uh, Tactica. Um, I've noticed the views are getting a little bit low. I know I only have 29 subscribers, so the views are down. So they seem to go up a little bit more when we do some Tactica. So, yeah. Um, and like I said, I'm probably not going to do... I might do one more weekly update before the new year. Um, well, it's only a week and a half anyway, near enough. So, yeah. But um, I thought we'd get a Tactica in um, to finish the year as we plan to go on. So uh, try and do a bit more Tactica bits going on. So, like I said, today is the Striking Scorpions. Um, I have 10. They look very much like this. Let's see if I can get a bit of a closer up one. Oh, no. The zoom. Is it going to... I will do a, a panoramic thing in a minute. There we go. Oh. Nearly got it. No, it's not going to work. Um, I'll do a, a zoom in of them anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, what we'll do, as usual, guys, we will... I'll do a panoramic view of the, the, of the models. We'll go through the rules in the codex. And then we'll set up uh, some fighting. Uh, oh, sorry. Then we'll set up uh, some scenario um, against some uh, some Primaris. Uh, we'll do we'll do uh, the Primaris Space Marines. Um, they are painted this this time. So my my, my Primaris captain is nearly painted. But um, yeah, we'll do some painted Primaris intercessors. Um, yeah. So let's get on to checking out the models. Okay guys, so here are my 10 Striking Scorpions. They are painted as of a uh, following tutorial on YouTube called uh, Apathetic Fish. Um, it's really good. Um, there's, he's got hundreds of, of models that he's painted up and it, it does it very, very well. Um, very clear instructions. Um, so yeah, go check that out. Um, yeah, I mean they're resin models, so as, as you can see, you know some of them have got the got, got like a bit of a, a bend in the saw, which is a bit of a pain. Um, they're quite easy to break, but in terms of a model and poses, I'm quite I, I quite like them. A lot of people dislike the old Eldar models, especially Aspect Warriors. They're calling out for new ones, but um, yeah. So let's, we'll take a let's zoom into one of them. Let's see if we can get some extra light for you guys. Does that work a bit better? Not great. So let's even zoom in on one of the models. There we go. So you can see some of the highlighting that's going on. Um, yeah. Like I said, I, I don't pretend to be the world's greatest painter, but I do. Uh, I do th think that uh, I've done quite a good job with these. That's let's get the Exarch in. Um, yeah, Exile was quite easy, they were quite easy to paint to be fair, if I'm honest. Um, the highlighting, um, I've probably done a little bit too much on these green bits here, rather than do like round the edges. But um, yeah, like I said, quite pleased with the uh, with the model. Um, he's got this, the, I've gone with the, uh, the, the strike, the scorpion's claw. I think it's a much better weapon than the, um, the biting blade and whatnot, so... Yeah, and just go around the back. Uh, yeah, so like I said, I would take a unit of 10. They're not as powerful as they used to be, guys, if I'm honest. Uh, sorry, guys, there was a, I pressed the wrong button there. But yeah, um, they're not as strong as they used to be, if I'm honest. They, um, But they do a job. Um, I've brought them down into a game before. Uh, you, you've got to get lucky. You get them in charge, and then the Mandy Blasters is quite good. So um, but yeah, we'll um, switch over now. We'll go and uh, we're going to have a look in the codex, and um, we'll see what it's all about. Okay. Okay, guys. So we're now on the uh, Strong Scorpions page for the in the codex. Um, yeah, I will apologise again for my terrible camera skills. As you can see, it's I don't have uh, tripods or anything. Um, so we'll, I'll do my best for you guys, and we'll see. Uh, yeah. Um, so. They are 
four power po power points, and that is for five of them. So it says here this unit contains five strong scorpions. It can include let's zoom out a little bit. Include uh, five additional ones, so it's an extra three. So I take ten, so that comes up to seven. Um, yeah, it's worth it. I would say I wouldn't take more than less than less than ten. Um, so you got the two stat lines, the scorpion on its own, and then you got the X arc. So they're both movement seven, both weapon skills three, both ballistic skills three. Strength 3, Toughness 3, that's standard for Eldar. Uh, one wound for the normal Scorpion, two for the Exarch, and then obviously two attacks and three, so one extra for the Exarch. Leadership 8, um, and then three up save. Uh, this is quite standard for the for the Eldar. Um, yeah, I mean, you're not going to get twos. I mean, those are really good, to be fair. So, you know, you've, you, you're going to hit on a 3, 4, 5, and 6, so you've got two-thirds of a chance of hitting... Um, yeah, we all know that toughness on the Eldar is, is quite poor, but it's because they're flimsy. <coughs> um, and movement, um, seven inches, not too bad, but you're not going to, to be fair, you're going to use one of their special abilities, which we'll go over in a second, to bring them down rather than walk them up the table. Um, so their stat line, it's like the stat lines, we've done them, their uh, weapons, so they, they come with a shrewd and pistol, let's have a oh, let's go. Each model is armed with a shrewd and pistol and a scorpion chainsaw and plasma grenades. So the pistol, uh, I'm not going into points, guys, because at the moment I'm not playing points. Um, if you want, if you want me to look at points for you, just let, comment below, and uh, we can do that in future videos. But yeah, the shrewd and pistol, 12 inches. You're getting one shot uh, pistol. And remember, you can use that if you're in combat as well, guys, which is really helpful. Uh, strength four. Um, no AP, one, one, uh, one damage. That's that's okay to be fair, because a lot of a lot of you, 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 the tonic kind of units you're going to attack is going to be infantry, and a lot of them are toughness four as well, so like space marines that kind of stuff. Um, the good thing here though is each time you you wound on a six plus, so obviously you've you've hit with your, th your three plus, then you go into wound. Um, if you get a six, the AP goes up to minus three. So, and again, that's why I would take more. Because if you think you take five, um, say you're taking a Scorpion's Claw, so you get an extra attack. But that's six shots, one in six chance of getting the six. Whereas, if you're taking ten, there's a much more thing of higher chance of getting the uh, that, that, that AP. Um, yeah, so the pistol, it's not the best, but like I said, if you get those sixes... You're gonna cause some damage. Um, they all come with the scorpion chain sword, so it's melee melee. Plus one to the strength, so you're going up to strength four, um, which is good. No AP again, and only one damage. So again, you, you're gonna want to take those. Those the more the better you're gonna get. Plasma grenade six inches, D6 four minus one, and then uh, one damage. Um, I don't tend to use grenades very often, but I might. Do it a bit more often, realizing if there's D6 and you roll that lucky six, um, you know, if you and you and you hit and you wound on all of them, that's a lot of damage, really. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so the other options are for the the X arc. So the striking scorpion X arc may replace the striking pistol with a scorpion's claw. The striking scorpion may replace the scorpion's the chainsaw with a biting blade. Um, I don't think you can take both. So I don't think you can replace the pistol for the Scorpion's Claw and the Scorpion Chainsaw with the Biting Blade. I'm not sure, if I'm honest. Because um, when you, on the actual models that you paint, that's two-handed, the Biting Blade. So, hmm, to be fair, I'd rather take the Scorpion's Claw and melee anyway. So, all right, we'll, we'll go through, we'll do the Biting Blade first. So it's melee, melee, plus two strength, so you hit, you've got a strength five, minus one, then a flat two damage. So it, it's all right, to be fair. Um, AP could be better, but that two damage is, is, is a really good um, damage thing. Uh, and obviously you get three attacks, so if you get three, that's possibly six, up to six damage, which is quite cool. But yeah, so the Scorpion's Claw, it has a shooting and a melee option. So in shooting, 12 inch, so it's the same as the pistol. It's assault two, um, so you're getting two shots. And you can move and fire it without any penalty. So it is the same as the pistol, if I'm honest. So it's a strength four, 
no AP minus one, but then obviously if you get the uh, the six, you're going to get an uh, minus three. And then the melee version, so it's times two strength, so you're hitting it, so it's wounding on strength six, which is really good. The minus three AP, great, and then the D3 damage, so, you know, you've got one in, no, one in three chance of getting one, one in three chance of getting two, one in three chance of getting three. But I see if you you know if you get three attacks and that extra strength is really going to help out. You know um, if you get things that don't have invuln saves, you know that's that's really good as well. Um, so in terms of stats, uh, it comes with the ancient doom and the battle focus, um, which for some reason I can never remember what it is. So that's page ninety six or what is it? Page seventy nine. Uh, that's what is this to page seventy nine? If I can find it quickly, there we are. Because um, I always forget. So, Ancient Doom can re-roll failed hits in the fight phase against Slanesh units. I don't even I don't even ever think I've ever seen a Slanesh unit. And Battle Focus, if this unit moves or advances in the movement phase, weapons excluding heavy are used as if the unit had remained stationary. So, yeah, so you can advance and still fight as if you've not done anything. So, let's get back to the Scorpions, because that's why we are here. Not the Banshees. So yeah, so okay, so Massive Stealth. During deployment, you can set up this unit in the shadows instead of placing it on the battlefield. At the end of your movement phase, the unit can stalk from their hiding place, set up anywhere on the battlefield that is more than nine inches away from any model. Um, I, do, I always use this. When I'm deploying, I always put them down first in the shadows because I like to be sneaky um, and make my... Yeah, I think if I'm if if my deployment is first, I want my guy. To, I want to see what my guy's doing doing before I put, set down. So I let them go. I in in effect let them go first because I put these in this in the shadows. Um, I wouldn't put them on the table ever, to be fair, because that is so much better. Um, also, I like you know I like fluff um, and narrative. So you know, as you're playing, when we when we eventually do some battle reports properly, um, you know, it gives you a bit of a, a bit of narrative you can add into there that they're you know they're, they're stalking where where are they that kind of stuff. So that's quite cool. Um, where's my finger? Shadow strike. Add one to hit rolls for attacks. Sorry, add one to hit rolls for attacks for this units that that target unit in cover. So that's quite cool. Um, so if you're rolling on. If you're you're hit, hitting on threes, um, and you get a four, you, you're still going to hit. So that's cool. Um, right, right, right. Mandy blasters at the beginning of each fight phase. So this is before anything else happens, guys. So this, you know, even if if it's the other guy's turn first, this goes first, and it's really good, especially if you get those hits. Um, so yeah, in the fight, you can pick a single enemy infantry unit within one inch of this unit. Uh, roll a d6 for each model in that unit for each roll of in this in this unit for each roll of six the enemy suffers a mortal wound so 10 guys 10 rolls you know you're going to get a couple of at least one six in there hopefully um on my last game i think i got four i just wiped out a team of terminators to be fair and then sustain attacks this is for your xr so each time you roll a hit roll of six plus we're making a close combat attack for striking Scorpion Exarch. That model can immediately make another close combat attack using the same weapon. These attacks cannot generate just attack. Um, if I'm honest, I always forget this rule. Um, but uh, that's a really good attack. So, you know, you've got three attacks for the Exarch. You could possibly get uh, six attacks if you get all three sixes, if you're, that, if you're lucky enough. So that's really good. Especially, and if you're using that um, Scorpion's Claw over here, you know that that's going to do some damage. Um, back to keywords, uh, yeah. So craft world, um, infantry and strike school. So yeah, so that's the stats, guys. Um, do you know what? Just because I've got time, we will we'll go to the uh, their bits and pieces, their 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 stats. Just because I, I do play, I do build my army based on points. If I'm honest, I just because I haven't done any recently. Um, yeah, uh, so models. Where is... All right, I'm going to pause here, guys, just so I can find the, the page. Okay, guys, page, page found. It only took me like 10 minutes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, striking scorpions. So, 5 to 10. 
kind of 13 points apiece. Um, yeah, I'd take that. So that's that line. You know, they are hitting on threes and wounding on threes. Sorry, um, hitting on threes. Um, yeah, I'd take that. So in terms of their weapons, so what have we got? The Shuriken pistol is free. So that's good. The Scorpion chainsword, which is up there, is one. So you got... So they're now 14 points a pop. Um, and the Scorpion... Scorpion's Claw is 12. So the Exarch comes at 13. Um, 13. 25 plus the point for the Scorpion Chainsword. So 26 points. Um, the Biting Blade, where's that? Biting Blade comes at 8 points. So that's not bad, to be fair. Okay, guys, so... Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set up some uh, a scenario and we'll get down to seeing how these do in combat. So, yep, yeah, it's going to be those versus those guys. So, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, so here we have our, our heretic dark angels intercessors. Not a heretic at all. Um, and we've got our scorpion just here. Uh, again, I apologise for the camera work. Um, guys so yeah um right because i don't have a lot of space we're going to imagine that this is nine inches so these were these are defending an objective and these pop down nine inches away out of the shadows they've popped up um there so i was going to say it's the, their turn okay so they get to to shoot because well the movement they don't get to move because obviously they drop down after your movement phase so you do all your movement then you drop them down so we will shoot them they get there's ten of them and the Exarch, where is he? Uh, here. Gets his two attacks. So, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. I'll just double check that. Two, two, four, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Okay, so, we are, let's zoom out a little bit, wounding on, th oh, sorry, hitting on threes. So, let's see how many, uh, how many ones we get? So missed, missed, two, two, two. Well, that's not bad. We've got plenty of sixes. Just the same as in the wound section. So okay, so they are strength four for the streak and pistol. Our intercessors are toughness four. So we are wounding on fours. Wow, look at that! That is great. So okay, all wound. Hey, okay, these ones are. No AP. So let's do those first, guys. So the intercessors have a three up save, so they get to three up. So one takes, this one is a wound. So that one's saved. So we're going to stick Mr. Intercessor on one wound. And then four sixes there, guys. Looks like the Mandy Blasters ain't going to go off because we're probably using all our sixes. So all these are minus three AP, which means they need to save on sixes. So here we go. Um, there's one six, so one save. So we have three wounds, so he's dead, and he's dead as well because the three wounds, because they get two wounds each. So let's get them out of the way. So already, I mean, you can see just from the sheer number of them, guys, that, you know, this Incessor squad, and Incessor, to be fair, the new Primaris aren't weak, you know, with two wounds especially. So yeah, um, we will try and charge um, just because we, we can. So they're going to do their Overwatch. They get their in rapid fire, so they get two shots each. Two, four, six. Looking, oh, forget that one. Looking for sixes, guys. There's one, two sixes. So let's get rid of those. The two sixes, they are strength four, toughness three. So because they're three, because they're weak, um, wounding on threes. Get one wound. Uh, there is an AP, is there? There's minus one AP. So we need a four up save. No. So one guy is dead. Bye bye. Sorry about the pause there, guys. Again, just uh, my daughter screaming. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we don't overwatch. We lost one guy. So down to nine. But we're still probably doing the better option. And then, so we're going to try and roll. We need nine. 
No, so they didn't jump, they didn't get in. So these guys are now going to move in a little bit. Actually, no, they're going to stay where they are because they don't want to, to be charged. If anything, let's say they move away a little bit more. <clears throat> so let's say they're now out. Let's say there's 18 inches here. Okay, I know there's not guys, but yeah, 18 inches. So these can still fire, but these are now need, need to move and all that kind of stuff. So we're just being a bit more tactical because <clears throat> tactics and whatnot. Um, so these will now fire against the scorpions. Um, oh gosh, the lighting is awful. Sorry guys. Yeah, so they're going to fire. They are not in rapid fire range now, sadly. So let's, um, three dice, needing threes. Oh, one. And then there is strength four versus toughness three. Get the hit. Am I, so I need a four for one of the scorpions. And he's safe. Okay, so they're not going to charge because they're 18 inches away and they can't charge. So now these guys are going to move. Let's say they move the seven, the seven inches. So yeah, let's, put, let's just move them here just so we're in, uh, in the camera shot. Let's get the X-Arc at the front. Okay, so the... Oh, they're seven, moving seven. They were eight inches. So these are now they're back to back to nine inches again. Okay, you're gonna have to imagine this nine inches. Um, so they're gonna shoot the uh, guys. So we've lost one guy. So we're gonna have ten shots. There's one for each, and then two for the X arc. So two, four, six, eight, ten dice. Needing what do we need again? Threes. Here we go. That's it, that's it, that's it. Those have missed. And that missed. Okay, so again, strength four versus toughness four. Let's come down here. Let's try not to uh, roll them off the table. And we need fours. Oh, that was a six. That was a six. So, oh, some good six, some good rolling again by me. I don't know what's my luck has changed. So three sixes, uh, they all missed, and that one's hit. Okay, so um, they've got a, a save uh, with no AP, so a three up save, which they've passed. And then they, there's three sixes, so again, needing sixes to save for the, the incessors. And nothing. So that's another one and a half gone. So he's on one wound. So you can see how these are whittling down. Just because of sheer numbers, and that's that shrewken, and that that and let's be be aware, guys, that that shrewken. Um, oh, sorry, guys, that that shrewken pistol. Those those uh, that's that a minus AP on sixes is for any shrewken shrewken weapon, so from catapults. So you have got um, Dire Avengers, the pistols from the um, the Banshees. You know any shrewken weapon you've got on your um, vehicles. All, that's all minuses, so the minus three AP on sixes. So again, take those numbers. Okay, guys. So we're going to charge again or attempt to. Um, they're going to fire Overwatch. They get four shots, need sixes. Uh, wow, three sixes. I think my looks changed. So three sixes. Then they need threes to wound. Uh, one. And yep, yeah. so then they need fours to save. Oh, they're safe. Okay, so then we're going to charge. What do we say? They didn't make the charge, but we're, right, we're going to say that they did. Okay, we're going to charge them in just because I want to show you the stuff. And if I'm honest, guys, I'm going to bring back some of the uh, let's let's bring back a couple of these guys. Uh, but you can see just from the shooting how much that whip was down. Let's get rid of this. Um, let's bring them all back. So let's get these into combat. Let's bring these guys round. Remember, these back guys got to be within it within an inch of the closest of the model in, in base space contacts. So there we go. Um, I think would it be better in there? No, we're going to stick to there. Okay. Um, so these guys are going to go first. So there's ten of them. So remember, Mandy blasters. Two, four, six, eight. Ten. So this is where you want them sixes. Um, this is where I'm going to get loads of ones. So let's see what we get. 
Um, have we got any sixes? We did not. We did not get any sixes. At the end of the day, it's look of the draw. It's just, just for, for the sake of it. So we'll go with that one. So there's two sixes. I'm going to go with that one. Again, guys, I'm only I'm doing it just because I want to show you that how what the impact of these scorpions are. But you know, it's roll of the dice, isn't it? If if we're honest. So yeah. I don't know why I've moved those sixes. So yeah, so we've got let's just say we've got two sixes. So that's two more to wound, so one of these is one of these is gone. Um okay, so attacks. This is where it's gonna get fun. So the we'll do the exarch last. So we need 20 dice, I think. No, 18 dice for the regular scorpions. So let's count these out. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 18 dice. Alright. So 18 dice. Oh, we're missing, we're dropping them already. And we need threes to hit. Okay. And we're using Scorpion's Claw, Scorpion's Chainsaws, guys. So let's see how we get on. Right, so we need, we said we needed threes. So what are we looking at? So one there, one there, two. Okay, and then they are strength four, so because they, they got the plus one so versus toughness four, so we need fours. Maybe do rubbish, 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 rubbish. So three wounds, no AP. So them guys are going to need a three up save, and they saved them all. Okay, so. Not the best, but I did say, you know, it's that no AP, you are going to struggle a little bit against any, I don't think necessarily it's just the Incessor, I think you're going to struggle against most units, I mean the Incessor have a three up save, so, it, you know, generally, but um, okay, so the Exarch, remember if they hit on a six plus, they get an extra attack, so need threes, and he got nothing. <laughs> This is going to be a great tactical video, guys. I do. <laughs> anyway, um, so let's do the uh, incessors. Three for them and an extra one for the uh, sergeants. So they need threes to hit. Three ones. Uh, two. There we go. Okay, and they are user, user strength. So strength for... Um, versus toughness three, so threes to wound. There's a two there, oh, another one there, so three wounds, no AP, so again we need a three up save. Two die, let's take him out and him out. Okay, so two scorpions dead. Um, I'm not going to do morale guys just because I want to see how we go on. Um, to be fair, I don't. they couldn't lose anyone anyway because they only lost two and they're ten. Yeah. Um, Okay, so let's now say it's their turn to go first, the Incessors, but because we've got Mandy Blasters, these go first straight away. So we get eight Mandy Blasters attacks. Six, two, four, six, eight. So it means sixes again. Uh, there, that was a six, so two, so three sixes. So it's instantly three mortal wounds. So he's gone, and we've got a wound on one of the other guys. So again, you've seen that Mandy Blast is really quite a... Uh, an imperative bit of kiss. Um, these guys are going to go first. So you get two, four, six, plus the guy, sergeant, needing threes. Um, one, two, they all wound, they all hit. Um, needing threes. Uh, okay, so five saves of three plus. Oh, that's a bad roll. So three dead. You're starting to see that that importantness of the um, that toughness, that how it's really causing us a lot of lot of lot of issues. Um, like I said, these guys, you you really want to sort of be taking out. I mean, my rolling is as as always, guys, as you know, is atrocious, but you really want to be taking we should be taking a lot more of these if you look remember from the previous one we were charging there was only two of them left you know and, and so that's where we got some quite lucky rolls 
here we're sort of struggling a little bit and that's just how it is to be fair with especially with that toughness three you're really going to struggle if you're getting into like multiple rounds of combat so anyway let's give the scorpions a go so i've got one two three four regular so they get two shots each so there's eight shots we'll do the exarch after guys as always um need threes to hit ouch oh no that's not too bad that's a bit of a bit, bit of a bit of round and then we need because they're plus one fours to wound oh terrible again but no so three saving rooms of three plus one wound again so we've taken this guy so we have done a little bit and now uh, the Xarch again threes if he gets a six we get extra attacks missed one didn't get any sixes and then it is because it's a striking score i don't think we did this last time actually sorry guys remember the striking the scorpion's claw is times two strength minus three i think we didn't did we actually don't even think we wounded did we okay anyway um so the strength goes up to six which means we're wounding on threes um no it doesn't yes it does wounding on threes and there's a minus three ap so wounding got one minus three ap so it's a six up save for that guy which he makes terrible rolling um okay so we're going on to this this is the third round this now and then again you, these have been whittled down to half but in the same sense, if these were on an objective and we were finishing this turn, we're going to get that objective because we've got more num we've got more bodies on the number. Yeah. So, and like I said, we've we've stopped these from shooting. They're rapid fire, so they they we're missing them. Um, and also, guys, I completely forgot. These guys have got pistols. Well, he hasn't because he's an exarch. But all these have pistols, so these could have all shot. In that in that round. So we'll, we'll try it this time. Um, so we sh we sh this the shooting phase. So these all get to have a pistol shot. Four shots, needing threes. One missed. Um, and then uh, strength four to miss four. So needing fours to wound. Miss that. That's so a regular save of three plus. Saved. And then one at so th minus three, so six save. No, so another wound taken on this guy. So, <laughs> if I remembered, guys, you probably would have had a much better attack. I'm not going to read the video because I've been doing this for 16 minutes now. So, um, yeah, remember your pistols. Um, yeah. So, we're now onto the onto the, the, the assault phase. Mandy blasters. So five Mandy blasters. The sixes. There's one. So this guy is now dead. And we're just down to the sergeant's left. Let's get these guys in a bit, more, a bit closer. There we go. Let's pile, pile in. Pile in, boys. Take out that heretic. Um, we'll do the, the regulars. So two, four, six, eight. Needing threes. Um, one, two, two there. So there. And then needing fours to wound. That's a good roll, actually. So, four saving wounds of three plus. Oh, saved them all. Well done, Mr. Sergeant. And then the Exarch, needing threes. Is that a one? And then needing threes again because of the extra. So, it doesn't get any extra thing extra for that six, but if because if it was if it was in the hit to hit phase, we've got an extra attack. And then it's minus three damage. Uh, so, minus three AP, so only sixes. Didn't get any, and just for Pete's sake, because he would have—he's he's dead anyway. But D three, D three wounds, so it's three and a five. So he has been quite completely minced. So yeah, there you go, guys. Um, let's bring out, let's bring back the, the team. Let's get them in the uh, in a bit of extra light for you, so you can see them a bit, a bit nicer. The light has actually made it worse, I think. So, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so as you can see, guys, I mean, on paper, I think they're quite good. In reality, that's where it completely depends on your dice rolling. Um, and your ability to remember the rules, if I'm honest, guys. Um, it's one of the things I do struggle with still. Um, I'll forget things. 
uh, like you saw there, I I remembered the, the the extra attack with the Exarch if you rolled a six, but I completely forgot about the pistols, and that pro more than likely would have taken out that squad a, maybe a turn earlier. Um, so yeah, I think don't take less than ten if you're going to take them, um, and if you and when when the this the difficulty comes when when you drop them down say like against these guys you fire your pistols you take out two the guy's going to take them out from the to move remove them from the front so your charge is longer and then you've got to suffer an attack and hopefully save it all to um to keep in there to keep in the game really but yeah um i i like them they're one of my favorite units just because i i've always liked them if i'm honest um but they're not the greatest in in eighth. They were much better in seventh. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, I would I I I take them because I I like them. I take them because they're reasonably good. They're you know they're probably more like your old Space Marines, your original ones. So yeah. But anyway, guys, um, we'll finish it there. I hope you enjoyed the Tatska. Um, and next we will do the Banshees. I'm not going to promise when they're going to be done because this one took ages. And um, yeah, catch you next time. And please remember to subscribe, raise my finger, subscribe, press the bell for notifications, and comment, guys. Um, yeah. And uh, um, remember, uh, looking for comments on the the um, what, how you what you think about the the competition. Let me know if you think it's a daft idea. Um, Nick from IDIC has already said he thinks it's a good idea. Um, so it can't, be, it can't be all bad. But yeah, uh, let me know. Um, I will pay for postage, guys, as well, um, within that. So um, yeah, comment below. Let me know. And I will catch you next time.